Welcome back to Apex Alchemy. So I was just watching a video from Mannix. That is M-A-N-N-I-X. Is uh, the 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 title of the video is Locked Back in 2023. Is it too old or something to that extent? It, I mean, it was just released like today. This is Sunday, so I may not upload this video till Monday. So like, you may have to go back and, and search through a couple of videos. But the name of the channel is M-A-N-N-I-X. Great channel. Great dude. Um, I, you know, I, I really like his style. You go over and check him out. But man, okay, so this gives me an opportunity to talk about this police, which I need to talk about anyway. I have not carried the police. I just got it. I mean, I've not carried it. I've not used the police. I've carried it a couple times. It just disappears in the pocket, man. I'm not entirely sure what they were thinking when they, they I, mean, I think those are T5s, maybe T4s. They're definitely not T6s. That sucks. Uh, they might not be. They may be Allen, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure, but they're, they're definitely not T6. Like that was the smallest one that I tried because that was the smallest one I could find. I've, I've got a whole set around here somewhere. I just don't know what I did with them, but is, is a, uh, to me, the lock back is it, is 2023? Is it too old for 2023? I, I mean, maybe it's a bit dated, but what's, what's the matter with the lock back? I mean, like the, the, the triad lock is absolutely in full swing, like nobody's got a problem with the triad lock. You know, um, that's a cold steel four max. Nobody's got a problem with the cold steel four max, right? You know, it's pretty much similar opera operation. This one you can do a little spotty flick, which I have actually been able to do the spotty flick, or not really a spotty flick, but a reverse flick with uh, the scout. I'm not sure if I can do it on camera. No, I can't. It's like I, my, you gotta hold your mouth a certain way. I can't do that while I'm uh, holding this camera perfectly still with, uh, with my third hand. Anyway, man, I, I, this is the VG10 version of the police, and it's one of the you know it's 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 one of the police models that is old enough to be in the stainless. Well, they still make the stainless steel, so I don't. It's VG uh, VG10 stainless steel, lock back. Got that compound grind. I've heard some channels say that it's not an you know it's not a good everyday carry because of the the grind. Man, I don't know. It's just a flat grind that goes into a hollow grind. It might not be the super sliciest for like cucumbers or apples or something. I don't know. But like, I haven't had a problem like cutting anything yet. But then again, like I said, I haven't used it much. So uh, we'll we'll touch base on that later. But as of right now, just I'm, I'm man, I'm actually really excited about having this knife. You know, like I the the precision. I thought it was like an integral. But it's not. You can see where the separations are. I mean, it's perfectly machined, perfectly machined back there. Like, oh, there's. I think you got two slabs back there. It's kind of hard to tell. You don't have any body screws. You can't take it. You can't take it apart. So I'm not. I, like, is it welded? I believe it's welded. I don't know. Like, it, perfectly. Look at the look at the centering. Perfect. Perfection. No problems with this knife at all. It's a fingerprint magnet. You know what? I can't. I can't really. You know, knock it for that. I'm a babe magnet. You know, I don't. I don't see like Sal Glister being like. You know, I. I can't sell Billy a knife. He's a babe magnet. Nope. You can tell Courtney's not here. It's like I wouldn't be talking like this, but she was right. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna figure out what kind of tools. I need for this. I'm, I'm thinking it's probably going to be a T5 or it may be just an Allen wrench or something, but I'll, I'll switch that around. It actually doesn't bother me. Uh, tip down if that's the way I need to carry it. You know, it's not a big deal. Uh, like it, I, I carried it like that. I, I took it out of the pocket, flip it. Uh, honestly, it's, I mean, it's just like a little half of a twist of a turn. It's not, it's not that big of a deal at all, but I am excited about it. This video shouldn't be any longer because I don't have much information about the spider co police for you. I know, like, was it 87, 1987 when they come out with it? It was, it was, uh, it was designed to be like Spider Co's replacement for the Buck 110. I think, uh, the, the cops started getting uh, tired of carrying the Buck 110 around in a pouch. They needed something they get to a little faster. So I'll listen to them, put a pocket clip on, be like, hey man, you just slip this in your pocket, I'll pull it back out. I think it's the second model they made that was a folding pocket knife. I may be wrong about that. I got that off of somebody else's video. But I want to say the first knife they made was called a worker. 
And I, I feel like this knife probably come out right around the same time as the Co-Pilot and there, you know, all the other stainless steel models of the day that I like that may have only had one pocket clip, like the original only had one, I mean, like, uh, it had one pocket clip, just like this one, but it only had one place you could put it, and it was like about right here. Like, there was there was no option, you know, down here, or no option on upper left-handed carry either. Um, so I feel like that was probably a big improvement. I will say that you will get a deeper carry if you leave the pocket clip the way it is and carry it tip down. If you go tip up, obviously you'll have, say, that much, no oh, more than that, about this much sticking out of your pocket. Yeah, so like, you know, as as of now, you got about this much sticking out of your pocket. So I, it could be similar, but you know, obviously you see the pocket clip almost goes to the top. Over here, it doesn't quite. So you'll have a little bit more sticking out of your pocket if you go tip up. Other than that, man, Let's go ahead and kill this video. We don't have to have it long. Courtney's not here. I better quit picking at her. She'll she'll feel like I don't want to do videos with her. Um, one last size comparison. I know I did this in the Endura video, but uh, that's that's that lined up with the Endura. So it is. It's a bigger knife, but not by much. I mean, it's it's right there in that same. Um, I mean, it is, it is, it is a bigger knife, but, uh, it's in that same territory, right? All right, guys, you have a great one. Happy Memorial Day. If you serve the country, we very much appreciate you. Thank you. If you're not subscribed, please, please consider doing so. And by God, at least like the video, leave a comment, whether it be positive or negative at all, all of it helps the channel. So we very much appreciate your comments. Thank you for watching. We will catch you on the flip side.